Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to draw a simple histogram in Excel 2010. Before we draw the histogram let's remind ourselves what a histogram actually is and this definition is taken from uh, Microsoft's website. A histogram is a chart, usually a simple column chart, that takes a collection of measurements and plots the number of measurements, called the frequency, that fall within each of several intervals which we call bins. Now I've underlined frequency and bins here because these are the two pieces of information that we need in order to draw our histogram. So for example we might use a histogram to show you exactly how the test scores of all students who took a test measure up. First let me just move this box out of the way here to give us ourselves some space and examine the data here on the left hand side. In column A I've got my students identified by letters of the alphabet and in column B I've got the grades that they've achieved in my test. And I'd like to be able to, using a histogram, to have a visual representation of the frequency of these grades. Now we need to be able to identify the frequency and bins so the first thing I'm going to do is draw up a list of bin limits. So I'm going to click on cell E1 here and type in as a label bin limits. And let's say for the purposes of this exercise I, wa I want to have my bin limits in increments of 10%. So I'm going to do 0 to 10 to 20 so just type those in and I'm going to use Excel's autofill tool to figure out um, the rest of my uh, piece of information. So now I've got my bin limits um, in intervals of 10%. You can choose 5% or 2% or whatever it is that you want to choose. So now I've got the first piece of information I need to draw my histogram. The next piece is the frequency. By default, Excel does not have a tool to draw histogram, so but it is available and we need to turn it on. To do this, click on the file ribbon, select the options uh, button, that's the second last one here on the left-hand side. This displays Excel options. Again, go down to the second last one, the add-ins on the left-hand side, so select that. You see a lot of information here about add-ins on your version of Excel, but just go down to the very end here where it says Manage Excel Add-ins and click on the Go button beside that. Here's a list of the add-ins available on my Excel here. This might be different on yours. The one I'm looking for is Analysis Tool Pack. So search for Analysis Tool Pack here and check the box beside that. If it's already checked, leave it checked and click on OK. Now what that has done is it has added a new tool to my data ribbon. So let's select the data ribbon here at the top. And over on the right hand side we have a, a data analysis tool. So let's select that. When you do so, you get a lot of new um, data analysis tools available to you. The one I'm looking for here is here in the centre. It's simply called Histogram. So select Histogram and click on OK. We now need to tell Excel uh, some information about the data that we want our histogram to display. The first piece of information is our input range. Now this is just simply the values of my test. So with my mouse I'm going to select from cell B2 down to cell B27. Or I could type that in. Next I must tell um, Excel what my bin limits are. So my bin range is listed here in column E. So again with my mouse I'm going to select from in this case E2 down to cell E12. I'm going to check the labels box here so that my diagram will contain labels. I would also like my diagram to uh, my histogram uh, to be displayed in this worksheet rather than in a new worksheet. So I'm going to click on the output range button here, and I'm going to uh, click in the box beside that and select an area here. I'm going to just click anywhere here. H1 will do where I would like my uh, uh, output to appear. And finally, check the chart output option so that Excel will draw you your histogram, and then click OK. Now Excel has worked out everything for you here. First thing you can see it has noticed uh, here is that in column H it has replicated the bin limits that you have already done. And in column I here it has uh, drawn in the frequency of grades uh, in each of my bin limit categories. And it has also drawn a histogram for me over here on the right hand side so let me just uh, move that and make it a little bit bigger. And you can see here that this reflects the data that I have now drawn up. So my bin limits in 10% intervals are across the bottom on the x-axis here and the frequency on the y-axis here on the left-hand side, and we can see a nice neat plot here uh, with most values being centered between 60 and 70% here in the center of my histogram. So that's how you draw a histogram in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.